formal courses and texts lay the groundwork for our astrological education, absolutely. Reading texts, going through a certification program or studying with a teacher, but keep learning, keep going, because I think the most powerful fruits of our astrological study come from outside of those frameworks. They come from a inspired and self-motivated desire to learn and innovate. And so I want you to follow your astro interests wherever they lead you. And that might mean rejecting what you were taught in your training program or in the books you've read. You might make fresh and new connections between techniques. You may innovate and apply an ancient technique to a more modern system. I saw a conversation on Twitter, people making up new lots using like Pluto and the moon or picking two points and then measuring the distance between those points and the ascendant. You can make new lots. There's so many asteroids and new dwarf planets. All of those are potential lots. You can innovate those lots based on the significations of those points. Just one example, that as you follow your passions and interests, it will be disclosed to you new wisdom and new knowledge about working astrological techniques. Techniques that would never be developed but for your passion leading you there. So you've got to follow your own passion. I recommend engaging on your own with ancient manuscripts. It's one thing to be walked through with a teacher and shown, look at this passage and then it means this. That's the teacher's idea. You may discover your own vision or version of what an ancient manuscript even means by engaging with it directly without an intermediary. Uh, I suggest interpreting charts with peers And so as you're learning techniques, get with a peer group and say, let's study, pick a chart. Uh, How about Jack Kerouac? We're gonna look at his chart. We're gonna apply the techniques we're learning. You'll then be able to innovate because you'll see how other people are doing it. You'll get ideas about how to do it differently. You'll see what techniques work or don't work that you've been learning. And then lastly, I think you can do readings for others. If you're inclined to reading and you wanna have a reading practice, start doing it. Tell everybody you know, I'm studying astrology. Most people say, oh, read my chart. What does it mean for me? Everybody wants that. So start reading soon and your distinctive astrological insights, your specific gifts that no one else has. That's why I'm telling you this and kind of being adamant here to suggest that you follow your bliss here because your astrology, your gifts, that's the only way they can emerge. It's for you to kind of throw off the work of those that have come before and go your own way. So Joseph Campbell, this idea of follow your bliss comes from the academic Joseph Campbell. He said, quote, if you follow your bliss, you put yourself on a kind of track that has been there all the while waiting for you. And that's what I think about those of us who are called into the astrological world. There's a reason why. Your path forward is waiting for you and it can only be discovered or it can only be embraced if you take the training wheels off, so to speak, and kind of step into your powers here. Only you can make your astrology and it's in you and it's only attainable through you, but you have to dig deep to find it and you have to go beyond what others say or how others practice. And so I just wanna encourage you here, I'm making this video more to hype you up to go on your own, cast off from the shore and go out on your own here. We need your astrology, all of us.